coming for Caprock right now. standing here making breakfast thinking to myself that I think the hardest part about dirt bike racing is getting up so early on your day off. You know I get up at five o'clock every day for work so I don't know why it's such a big deal to get up at five o'clock in the morning for a dirt bike race but man I don't know it seems rough. And then this morning my coffee pot decided to uh, not participate with life so we don't have any coffee Thank goodness I got Red Bull, because otherwise I'd be racing today with a caffeine headache, so it really sucks. But anyway, it's going to be a good day racing, and that's all that matters.
Oh, geez, that was freaking awesome. Is this really the last test? Ain't this the last test? That's the last test. Jeez. I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna be back in town in time for brunch. Yeah, exactly. Clear time. We ready? You're ready, go. Thanks, guys.
So day two of Cap Rock, just finished. I'm on my way back to Colorado. <clears throat> All I can say is that today was one of the harder days I've ever had on a dirt bike. So we got going. And after test two, as I was exiting test two, I realized that my rear brake was kind of dragging a little bit. And I stopped right after I exited the checkpoint into the transfer and looked down and my rear brake lever was missing a bolt on the, the foot pad and it had spun around and was stuck underneath my clutch cover. And that bolt, must have sheared off because the hole was all deformed so there was no way i could even put a bolt back in it without you know running a tap through it or something that i didn't have on the trail so this was you know around race mile 20 22 of an 80 mile day so i wound up racing the entire rest of the course with only the you know the stick part of my rear brake lever with no pad on it and uh yeah, it turned out to be pretty challenging. I wound up missing my brake lever going into a corner that was on a kind of side hill single track and slid off the hill, probably down a 20 foot embankment. And then on another section, I wound up blowing through a corner and colliding with a juniper pretty hard. So I don't know, it was a rough day pretty hard to race without a rear brake when you're racing enduro so is what it is i finished currently sitting in sixth we'll see how that holds up yesterday went pretty well i finished fourth yesterday so we'll see but i'll get all the video put together and throw something up on youtube here shortly